What's up guys, my name is Chuck and if you're into graffiti or any other graffiti related stuff like spray paint or markers then you should most definitely subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any of our videos. Do you guys know these glasses with one side blue, one side red? A while ago, Dope made a video where he is doing a glitch piece and I was like... What the f***? Yeah, I know. I wish I was that good as well. But I started thinking and I was like, isn't there any way I can do this as well without turning it into a complete failure? So I started searching around and I found this artist Tweso. I don't know. I'll put the link down below. I started looking at his work and it was also like this glitch art, 3D graffiti or how you want to call it. So after sketching a little bit, I found out that it's actually not that hard to make this kind of pieces. So I brought three colors today. Just a normal black, a coat red, and a drops. They're all from Montana Black. And I'm gonna use these three colors to make the glitch art piece. So let's start with step number one. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the sketch on the wall with the red. I'm gonna do simple letters. You can try to do difficult letters right away, but I want to keep it easy for myself. The two caps that I'll be using for this piece are the yellow universal cap and the cap that comes standard with the Montana Blacks. The black cap with the orange dot. So let's continue with step number two. Step number two is doing the exact same sketch one more time, but this time you're gonna shift the sketch. In my case, I'm gonna do the exact same sketch, but I'm gonna shift it a little bit to the left and down. And a quick tip, do this with a different color. In my case, I'm gonna use drops, the cyan color, to do the second sketch. The idea is that everywhere where the sketches are overlapping, so in this case that would be this part, you're gonna paint it black. And the other parts, like this blue outside the red, you're gonna keep it blue. And then on the other side, everything that has to be red and is not underneath the blue layer, you're gonna paint it red. I'm also gonna start with the blue and the red and not with the black. If I would paint with these colors and it's a little bit windy, you will see the dust right on the black. But the other way around, if I do the black after these, you will not see it that good as these bright colors on black. So I'm gonna start with the blue and the red. So I've been doing a little bit with the red and the blue and as you can see in the age, I'm losing it. I even used the two colors for the sketches, but still I'm having a really hard time finding out which part is which, so, but I'll continue. So the next step is to paint the remaining parts black.
exactly one black cam. So I must say that I'm pretty happy with the final result and it wasn't that hard. So you can do this as well. If you like this video, I got two more over here that you will most definitely like.